Hi guys, this video is on an example on choking flow which I went through in the previous video. Um, in this example we're going to consider the same question that we did for the bed elevation problem, uh, except that here our delta Z is going to be much larger at a value of 30 centimeters. So in the bed elevation change problem this is 2 centimeters and um, now we've been asked to find Y2 for when uh, it's 30 centimeters, actually Y1 and Y2. So because we've been asked to find both heights, um, it's a dead giveaway that this is going to be an example on a choking flow, so look out for that. So we're going to follow the same procedure to start off with. We're finding out our fruit number using fr equals v on square root gy, um, and we've been given the values for q, which was 3. Uh, we resolve for v1, We've been given y1 and we get a value of 1.5 for v1 um, which gives us using y equals 1 uh, an fr as 0.479 which is less than 1. Because it's less than 1 we know it's a subcritical flow so we're looking at the top branch of the specific energy curve. Now we find our e1 which we did in the previous example, we find little q from capital Q, sub in the values we know and get E1 equals 1.115 meters. Now we need to find E2 and this is where things change because we've got a new value for delta Z. Now E2 using Benoit's equation is E1 minus delta Z. And our E1 was 1.115, our delta Z was 0.3 meters, so 30 centimeters, uh, which gives us a value of 0.815 meters for our E2. What we didn't do in the previous example is make sure E2 was greater than EC. So let's do that now. This is you'll have to do this for every um, every specific energy equation type question, any open channel flow question really, you'll have to check that E2 is greater than EC and then uh, depending on whether it is or not, you carry out the procedure as necessary. So first we need to find YC which will enable us to find EC. I've been over the derivation of YC before so I won't go through it in depth again but here it is anyway. So we're taking the uh, derivative equal to zero find our yc um, and subbing in for little q which was 